So before we started we had around 100 FPS and as you can see I have over 500 FPS. Hey guys, welcome to my new video. I will show you how to fix lag and get more FPS in Minecraft 1.20. So let's get right into it. As you can see I have 4 files on the desktop and that's just because we will need sodium mod for this tutorial so you can get as much pos uh, FPS as possible. Yeah, so make sure you follow all my steps. It's not just about sodium. I will show you the best settings. Also how to allocate more RAM to the Minecraft so you can get even more FPS. So stay tuned and watch the full video. Let's get right into it. As you can see, four files on my desktop, but you have none. What to do? Well, uh, go to the de video description and there's the download link for all of these four files. So click on that please and it will take you to my website where you can easily download these files. Then take them please and drop them on the desktop just like I did. After that, we need to install the sodium mode. Okay, so go to the Windows search bar and type in percent data percent. Hit enter and it will open up the roaming folder. In here uh, you can find that Minecraft folder, so go into there please and scroll down to mods. Then take these three files and drop them in here. Go back, scroll down to versions and open it. Now you need to double click on fabric installer, it will open up this window and uh, here you will have 1.20 and you may ask why I don't have 1.20 here. Well, the thing is that 1.20 is coming out tomorrow and uh, I'm doing this on 1.20 snapshot, which is basically the same. Okay, so just to use 1.20. Hit install and after 2 or 3 seconds it's installed. As you can see, Fabric Loader 1.20 has been successfully installed. Now we can close this and make sure in the versions folder you have fabric loader 1.20 just like i do we can close this folder now and go to minecraft launcher give it a couple of seconds and then we are in the minecraft launcher menu so before we go to the game we need to do some stuff okay so go to the installation tab and this is Fabric Loader 1.20, that's what we have installed now. Uh, you can see the three dots in here, so click on that. Go to Edit and here click on More Options. As you can see, the GVM arguments, you will have 2G in here, okay? So let me explain what you have to do. If you have 16GB RAM like I do, delete the 2 and press 8 okay use 8g if you have 8 gigabytes of ram use 4g and if you have 4 gigabytes of ram use 2g so the thing is that you need to use at least 50 percent of your ram capacity to make the best resolution and fps for you we are back in the minecraft launcher and let's choose fabric loader in here so do that please and hit play it will take a couple of seconds because it's downloading something and also installing. So just wait for it to turn on and then we will be in the Minecraft menu and I'll show you what to do next. It, it's kind of easy, you just need to follow all of my steps. So as you can see it's finally loading and we are in the Minecraft 1.20. Go to the single player and choose your word. Mine is Sherlock. It's a word made by me, so you won't probably have it. Right now I'm here and let's get to the options. Video settings and this is where the magic starts, okay? Let me show you how much FPS I have. Right now I have around 200, okay? So I'll show you how much I will have at the end of the tutorial. So options, video settings and render distance, the best for me is 8 and 6, but you can adjust this to your needs, just try 
uh, it is for yourself and you'll see what is the best for you so 866 if you have sodium just like i have so brightness leave it on 100 it's it's good if you are in a cave or something you don't need to turn on the full screen but yes uh, it's good for someone it's for some pcs it boosts the fps so you have to try it out we think that's not good for me and it shouldn't be good for you as well so turn it off max frame rate yes unlimited that's the best view bobbing let me show you what that, this does okay so if i turn it off check the animation of the movement okay it looks ugly it, it's just weird when i turn it off on sorry the animation is completely different so for me i definitely leave it on it doesn't give you like 50 fps or something it it will give you like 5 to 10 fps so you can leave it on attack indicator crosshair yes auto save we can leave it on as well so quality this is this is much important for us so graphics let's leave it on fast clouds on low which is off whether we can leave it on default we don't need to get it to fast yes if we have a really low low end pc you definitely need to have it on fast but for me it's good default uh, leaves quality default as well and particles definitely minimal that's the best because as you can see the performance impact is medium smooth lighting you can turn it off and biome blend off on zero or one uh, this is this depends or definitely on you entity distance a75 is great for us i believe entity shadows we don't need that so you can turn it off it will give you additional fps uh, vignette we don't need it either so turn it off and map levels to zero applied settings and the move forward please the performance settings okay so uh, we can definitely turn off these three but turn on the fourth one advanced uh, let me show you uh, this depends on how much cpu you have okay i have uh, six render cpu so i will leave this on nine uh, six sorry but uh, you can try this yourself to see what would will be the best for you async definitely and no we don't need shader packs so let me show you how much fps i have now before the tutorial i had around 200 fps and right now i have around four three four hundred fps which is really great so thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope this helped you out and i'll see you in the next one